Hey everybody, Akiris here. Welcome back to Project Zomboid. The Adventures of Keystone, Season 1, Episode 5. Alright, so in the last episode, we tried to chop down some trees with the saw. I forgot. Can't do that with the saw. Saw's for like making planks, I believe. You actually have to have that axe to do that. We don't have an axe. So, I think we're going to find one if we head over to a warehouse. So that brings me to this next point here. Let me back out here just a little bit. We are down here at our safe house, our current safe house. There's a warehouse here. And if you remember, we've been through here. There's quite a few zombies in this area. There's actually a big warehouse and a small warehouse behind this gate area. Now the gate they can't get over, the, the, the two tile high gates or fences they can't get over, which is all the way around except for here. So they can fall into the inner perimeter and cause us a lot of problems, even if we do get in there. The nice thing about this is, it's pretty close to home. It's like one and a half blocks away or so. The other one is the one that we passed. There's one here. Okay. There's also one here. This is on the way to the uh, gas station that we passed before near that trailer park. So I'm thinking what we're going to do is we're going to go for this one. I think it'll be a little easier to get to if we can get inside. The problem is if we can't get in this door or this door, we're kind of screwed. This one we could always go through a window if we had to. And same here. You can go through windows. So hopefully we find open doors here. Otherwise, we're going to need a sledgehammer to get through one of these walls. So that's where we stand right now. I, I think we're going to go down to this one, try this one. Uh, let's see here. This one does have windows here, but down here it does not. If we get in here, I have a feeling we'll find a sledgehammer in order to get into these. But... Uh, I don't know. It seems like there's going to be a lot of zombies down here to deal with. We could always scout it out. I don't know. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? I'm thinking... I tell you what. I think we just go for this one over here. These two over here. So let's give that a shot. See what happens. If we don't get any luck over there, then we can always change, change our plans. But that's where we're at right now. I'm going to have to offload a lot because right now we're at 14.36 kilos out of 15. So I need to get rid of a lot of this stuff that we don't need to be carrying around. So let me do a little bit of maintenance here. I might just spend the day doing some reading and fast uh, speeding time up. So this isn't going to really hurt our our uh, overall. Sorry about that. Let me get back to where it was. This isn't going to hurt, you know, the episode as far as you guys just having to spend the whole episode watching uh, watching me read. So let's see here. Um, what do I need? not need here? I got everything there pretty good. Matches, that's fine. And a presence, that's one out of three. Riverside, the logs. Yeah, we don't need that. Let's uh, let's throw these logs down over here. I should just probably just throw them on the floor. Actually, let me just do that. I'm just going to throw, throw the logs right here on the floor. Because that'll take up like a significant amount of room in that, in that container. So let me drop that. That'll definitely help out with the weight. Purse, we got some more logs. We'll do that one next. All right. I think this is going to be a solid plan. We can always take the car a little ways over there, too. And if we find something worthwhile, not a problem. We'll, we'll take care of that. Let's speed this along. It's taking forever. There we go. Okay, so we got a couple piles of logs right there. Yep. What's our weight at now? Seven. Yeah, that's much better. Much better. Riverside map. Just gonna throw it, throw that in here. Not that it really matters. Okay. Let's take a look at, out here at the car and the zombie situation real quick. I'm gonna do a quick perimeter check before we leave the house. You know what? Let's just scout out this one up here. Let's do it, since it's not that far away. Let's just do it. Flies are starting to gather, huh? Okay. We've got a couple over there. I'm going to sort of move over this way. Get low. See if we can sneak past. Would we'll take the car for this one, but this one's so close. I don't really see the need to do so. Oh, there's another nice, really nice car right here. I don't think we've 
I don't think we've checked this car. Let's see what this looks like. Even if uh, this doesn't have any gas or anything in it, we might be able to steal parts off of it. If our mechanical skills high enough. Let's see here. Yeah, there's a couple units of fuel in there. Battery's in great shape, so if we need a new battery, there we go. What about the tires? Eh, yeah, we got one decent tire. I don't know if these tires have to go on these specific spots or if they're universal. They should just be universal, you know. But uh, that's not bad. And if we need to uh, grab one of the windows off of there, that's a possibility too. Okay, so let me see here. Well, it looked like... I'm just going to try to stick to the street. I might have better sight lines this way. Big group uh, hovering over there. There's a couple over here we're probably going to have to deal with. Yeah, let's just, let's just deal with these two right here. I'll just shove this one down. You got anything worthwhile? Not really. What about you? Not really. All right, I'm ready for you, buddy. Well, so much for all those clean clothes. It's a dirty job, but somebody's got to do it. Is that a bird? He's got a helmet on or something. I want, I want whatever's on his head. Try this. Psst, psst. Oh no, it's just hair. <laughs> it's sort of a bowl haircut or something, I guess. It looked like a helmet, like almost like combat when she was walking away. Oh well. All right, there we go. That was a bit disappointing. All right, nothing worthwhile there, nothing there. All right, let's try to sneak through here best we can. Without drawing the attention of this group here. We've got one, couple of them coming. I'm just going to walk casually. Just going to walk casually since I can't outrun them. No big deal. They probably... Yeah, they kind of got stopped by the old... Uh, trees, it looks like. Looks like they got slowed down enough. They lost track of me. Alright, nothing there. There's the construction site. Okay, let's see how bad it is. Hopefully it's not as bad as I expected. It's really not that hateful. At least it's... Mm, oh, well. Okay, I spoke too soon. Okay, there's quite a quite a group there. Once I get through, though, should be okay. Uh, they won't be able to get through the double high fence. They have to walk all the way around. Oh, we got a group here. They're gonna want to follow me. Uh, and we got some over here. Okay. You know what I'm gonna do? Well, hop that fence. I dropped the purse there. Just a heads up. I did drop the purse there. I should have put it in my backpack. But they're not going to be able to get to me. Okay. I wonder... This looked like a... On our map, this was a single high fence. So it looks like they've changed that. Maybe, uh... Maybe that's a good thing for us. Because I don't know if there's going to be any zombies. Well, there's going to be some that were in here to begin with, but... Oh, there's a few. There's a few. Any of you guys see me? Oh, they know how to open gates, apparently? That gate's opened. What happened there? Is it automated? I don't know. I ain't gonna mess around with them. Alright, let's just see if we can get in. Hopefully. Of course not. Sneak around. If worse comes to worse, we can always go back over the fence. Someone's banging on the door. Yeah, this this window's already open, so hopefully that means the alarm isn't going to be a problem for us. Hey, you.
Very good. Oh, we got one coming in. Wonder what drew his attention. Probably the banging. Oh, missed you. Excellent. Walk too far. There we go. All right. Hopefully, we find something great. I'm gonna take the welding rods just for now. I think they're gonna be worth something soon. All right. Plank. We'll take that. Since we are trying to board up windows, I'd really like an axe, though. Now, when I was walking in through the window, I wonder if I could have stopped at one of these containers and actually reached it. Tent peg. Okay, we got a lot of containers here to check. Shovel, we'll take that. Wire, tent peg, paper clip, tire pump. Nothing, nothing, nothing. A trowel, we need that, definitely, for gardening. It's like a must-have. Take that. Radish seed packet. What about here? What, we, what do we have here? Nothing. I'll come back and check these ones here in a minute. Lighter. Adhesive tape. What can you make with adhesive tape? I'm, I'm wondering. Hmm. Uh, another hammer, we'll take that. Thread, sure. What I really need is that X. Metal bar, sh okay. And a battery. Yeah, okay. Another plank. Our weight's still doing good. I don't think there's anything in the purse. So if we lost lost the purse because there's a horde sitting on top of it, I'm not too concerned about it. Flashlight. Come on, man. Take the glue. Another trial. We'll take that. Oh, we're running out of boxes. Pipe wrench. That's not in very good condition. Metal pipe. Yeah, we can take that. Well, we tried hitting this uh, without much luck. Maybe I can reach one of these back here. Yeah, it's the same pipe wrench. Okay. Is this a stove here that we can steal? Or is that just a some sort of support beam? I can't tell. We still need to check these over here. Maybe we'll get lucky. Maybe we'll get lucky. Another shovel. Jack. I th we already have a jack. I'm 99% sure. How heavy is this shovel? It's a pretty good weapon, but uh, it's a two-handed weapon. I kind of like the one-handed melee weapons. They seem a bit faster. Plus, you can carry that extra container, so I'm looking at that more as a tool than anything else. Box of nails. Take that. Oh, man. Come on, running out of, running out of boxes. Oh, they can't be this this rare. Hmm, that's disappointing. All right, let's see what's in the uh, office, if anything. Sure, nothing much. Can't get a drink here, though. We'll do that real quick. And we'll open this door in case we need to come back. Yeah, I don't see anybody down there in my purse right now. Oh, we got one lurking. Down here, a couple. A couple. Make that a, a handful. All right. So what I think we'll do is we'll try to hop the fence here, go grab the purse, and then... And then head about, head back home to offload. We do have a couple down there where the purse purse was.
I'm just seeing two that seem to be. Yeah, they busted right through that fence. What happened? Oh, you son of a! You missed him. I mean. All right, let's get out of here. How bad is it? How bad is it? Scratched. Okay. Bandaged with it. That sterilized bandage. There we go. Let's go. Okay, well. It's a bit disappointing. I completely mistimed that. So I got myself injured for no real good reason. And we got one kind of trailing us here. All right, we'll go home, relax, do some reading, recover a little bit, let our body calm down. Well, we got some tools out of it. We got the trowel. That was a big one. And a shovel. I'm not sure if we had a shovel or not, but uh, that's not bad to have either. Okay. Upsy daisy. Here we go. It's the risky run. At least it was just one. Let's check out the shed while we're here. Might as well. Maybe we'll get real lucky find an axe inside this place. I like to stay zoomed out, but it's really not good for combat. That's where I messed up in my combat there. Oh, shoot. Oh, no, no. Get up, dude. Ho, oh, ho, ho. He knocked me back on my butt. I have not seen that animation before. I was not expecting that. That was interesting. Is he the only one? Okay. Interesting. Propane tank, SIGs. We'll take some SIGs. Scrap metal. More SIGs. All right, what about this over here? Uh, lead pipe, that's a good one. What's the condition? Great. A trunk and a metal work magazine. We'll take that as well. All right, we're looking good. Still just underweight. Leave that open to show that we've already looted that. And there's our... There's our driveway right there. I think he's going to be coming after me. Yeah, he certainly is. Not sure why it's not appearing up there anymore, the leveling up. It's supposed to. Maybe I need to manually turn those mods on each time, I guess? I don't know. I'll have to double check next time. Do I have craft helper? Yeah, I see the craft helper 41 is not appearing either. I bet you have to turn those mods on each time. Let me get inside the house. I'm going to see if I can turn these mods on real quick. Alright, let's take a look at our health. Yep, still good. Minor pain. We can pop a pain med for that. I know i got one here. Just to make him comfortable. He's anxious. We'll let him have a smoke as well. Oh, there it is. Craft Helper 41. So that mod is working. Okay. Alright, we'll get rid of some of these little condition issues here. His weight's 94. Losing a little bit of weight. Weight is coming down. We're a hot mess right now. Another thing that we have to think about is when, when the uh, we've been alive five days, eight hours. When the helicopter is going to make an appearance. Normally it's around day seven, but it can be a little bit before, a little bit after. So you never really know. The helicopter will basically draw zombies. It'll follow you around and it'll draw zombies to you for like ten hours or so, for quite a while. 
So definitely want to be careful about that. Beta blocker, we'll put this in here. Put this over here. Oh, we still got a sterilized bandage. Water adhesive tape, we'll throw that in there. A purse, I can equip that as a secondary. Again, there we go. The things I did to get that purse back. That empty purse. <laughs> Alright, let's, uh, I'll probably keep that lead pipe as my next weapon instead of the wrench. Let's put that back. Yeah, I think the lead pipe's actually a better weapon too. Yeah, slightly maybe. And, uh, we'll unpack that. Hammer, throw that in there. Two shovels, two trowels, radish packet, metalwork magazine can go up top, metal bar, metal pipe. Metal pipe's about the same as the lead pipe. The planks, box of nails, glue, throw that glue in there. I'm going to take, actually, you know what, I'll take that, uh, I'll take that hammer back. Because I'm going to go do some, uh, I'm going to go do some boarding up with these windows to get these windows protected. We have, I think we have enough planks to get one board on each window, hopefully. Uh, we'll go salt these logs, see what, see what that does for us as well. So let's take a look at our skills. I heard something level up. What was it? Probably sneaking or something like that. Cause it, I think it happened when we were moving. So light footed and sneaking probably. That's what it was. Short blunt maintenance. Carpentry. I'm going to probably need to level, get that leveled up too. So I'll probably want to read that book before I start doing. Is somebody banging on my door? Thought I heard someone. Maybe I'm just hearing things. Oh, it's upstairs. It's, a, it's actually in my house. All right. I think one of the kiddos is up. Give me one second here, folks. Pause it. All right, yeah, it was one of the kiddos upstairs. Restroom break. So, all right. Um, let's see here. I'm hungry. Let me see what I want to eat here. Definitely should eat something. Luckily, we have quite a bit to eat. Did I have something I cooked? I thought I had cooked something. Maybe. I don't know. Let's eat. Let's eat some of this fresh produce before it goes bad. And I'll probably eat this broccoli. Peckish. That's what I want to be at. Okay, cool. Let's get a drink here. Fill up this water bottle. Okay. Now. Let's go ahead and drop. I think I got a magazine or two for the old library. And I wanted to read Carpentry for Beginners, which I have two copies of apparently. So let's take that and I'll trade my metalwork magazine here. You know what? I'll just read this one real quick. It won't take very long. These are normally pretty quick reads. About 10 minutes or so. All right, very good. Now, before we start doing carpentry, let's go ahead and allow ourselves to get a bonus for the actions that we do. So it's not going to allow, it's not going to skill us up when we read this. What it's going to do is allow us a bonus as we do it to increase our XP faster. So let's go ahead and read this. It's going to take a while. thought I was fast reader. He's hungry again. The nice thing is if you do stop and start the book, it will continue where you left off. Drowsy. I guess I do have that window over here that's broken. That'll be the first one that gets boarded up for sure. Well, we're almost there. We're already getting a bonus, so if we stop right now, we still get the bonus of how much we've read, so you get like... Is that it? He's still reading? I think we're good there. Should be a, th a three bonus. Let's remove that bandage. Remove that bandage. Uh-oh, infected. Let's uh, put the sterilized bandage on there. There we go. Okay. Let's uh, wash this one off here. 
wash our bandages. There we go. And the other thing that we want to do is unpack this. And where's our bandage at? We want to disinfect it so it's ready to go next time. I'm going to keep that bottle of disinfectant up here with me because when I take the bandage off next time, I want to apply disinfectant directly to the wound. Getting bored, tired, anxious, needs another cigarette. We'll let him have another cigarette. So, the nice thing about reading like that is you'll see some arrows down here on carpentry. Now, for level 1 and level 2, I will skill up much faster. Would have been better had I actually caught the TV show or found one of the VHS tapes to watch. I don't think I have the carpentry one. I think it was something else. So. Let me uh, go outside here. Make sure we got the, uh, the old hammer and planks and everything in the right spots. There we go. We're going to do a little bit of hammering. Hopefully I don't draw in too many Zeds. Might be better just to sleep, honestly. Yeah, I think I'll do that. I think I'll just sleep. Even though that window is exposed, we're gonna put set up our chair here. So let's not let's not worry about the planks right now. Cause my guy's a little tired, and all that. I don't want to get into a fight with a bunch of zombies that I pull out of the woods or something by making a bunch of noise hammering. So, let's go ahead and get some sleep. I know I should wash up, but it's going to take too long. It's already two. So, uh, yeah, let's do this. Let's get some sleep. Guessing he wakes up about 10. Yep. On the money. Okay, how's this bandage doing? Yep, I figured. Let's put that uh, disinfectant on. See, it's no longer infected, so that's good. Let's do this. Uh, disinfect, just put it straight on there. There we go. Sterilized bandage. Lovely. Move our chair over to the side. Clear our house. I'm guessing it won't be long till. Fill up the water bottle. Won't be long until it's healed. Of course, I do have slow healer. Because I was thinking, oh, I just don't get hurt. Doofus. So much for that. I'll make sure we don't have any zombies walking around. I don't see any evidence. Okay, I think we're good. <laughs> All right. Let's go uh, do a little bit of perimeter security here. Clear off any zombies that might be attracted to our carpentry efforts. Okay, I'm pretty happy with that. We got one way up there. I don't think I don't think we'll be pulling him. So things look pretty decent. All right, first things first. Let's get this busted window. Okay, I need to open up the box of, that's it. I need to open up the box of uh, nails and I don't think I even transferred them out yet. Okay, yeah, because I interrupted that. I'll take this as well. Takes forever to take the planks out, doesn't it? Jeez. Takes me 20 minutes to get the planks out. Slow, slow hands, slow inventory, I guess. All right, carpentry. Oh, and then I gotta open up the uh, nails because they're still in the box. Open box of nails. Now oh, we got 100. Wow, that's 100 nails. Whoa, suddenly. There we go. Miscellaneous. Wood, not a wood cross. Barricade planks. There we go. That looks pretty good. Let's do this one. Barricade with planks. Nice. I think that's the two planks that I have. I don't think I have any more. Let's see if we pulled any zombies. No. Well, that makes me feel a little bit better. Now, I wonder if I can just stand over top of these and 
turn these into saw logs. Makes three planks. That's lovely. I need my garden saw. Which I do have. Here somewhere. Where are you at? Saw. There we go. That's why I like craft helper right there. It's such a good mod. It looks like I can do it with them sitting there on the ground. I don't actually have to pick those up. Let's do this. We'll get ourselves three. Now let's I want to see the skills go up here. A little bit. It's slow. It's not as fast as watching a TV show. Which, come to think of it, should be coming on any second. So, let's turn this on. I don't know if carpentry's on every every uh, day at noon or not. But, uh, we'll turn it on. Cook show. <laughs> it's cooking. Oh well, we'll sit here and get our cooking leveled up even higher. Alright. It's a good way to spend a half hour. See y'all tomorrow. Okay, so it went up about, oh, about 40%, I'd say. Okay, it looks like we got some planks here. It took longer to unpack them out of my bag than it did for me to saw those suckers, so. Uh, let's grab these. I'm probably going to put uh, two on each window, I think. Maybe, th uh, maybe I'll do three. Make this my sort of permanent safe house, but I'll be ready to move if that, uh, oh wow, it's taking a really long time. I'll be ready to move if that helicopter comes and we can set up somewhere else. So I'm going to try to keep my car ready to, ready to go. Very hungry. Okay. We'll go eat something as well and clean these bandages while we're in there. Carpentry. All right. Well, we leveled up carpentry apparently. That's, it's supposed to pop up like that. All right, well, it did go up fast. We're almost to uh, intermediate because level one and two is uh, considered a uh, beginner. Then level three is the start of intermediate. So, I'm pleasantly hot. Carpentry shooting up fast. And all I'm doing is moving them from one container to the next. I guess that's considered carpentry. I could just take them in and out of containers. Now it's dropping back to 16.25. Uh, before it was 48. So it's triple, right? 48.75 or something like that. Okay, let's uh, get rid of this. How heavy are these nails? No, oh, they're not bad. Even when, even when they're unpacked, I thought they were going to be a lot heavier when they were unpacked. I know it doesn't make sense, but... Normally when you pack things up, you get that sort of like putting stuff in duffel bags. It doesn't change the weight, but you get this, when it's in a box, you should get like a container bonus or something. Um, I don't need to be, number of pages. Oh, so that's how many pages I've read? So, this, uh, so I'm on 27 of 220? What's my, I thought it was, okay, I'm, I'm done with beginner, so beginner ain't going to help me anymore anyway. So let's let's get rid of beginner carpentry. Let's see if we have intermediate carpentry. Expert. Intermediate, there we go. So we're gonna wanna read that. Let's put that one back. And then when I go out and I start working on the house, we'll get a little bonus there. Well, this is a different way to get around what we were trying to do. Oh, I did want to get an axe so I could get as many logs as I wanted, but I'll take it. Very hungry. Yeah, I know. That guy's like, poor guy's starving. Discomfort. Let's get him some food. He's going to get sick if I don't give him give him any food. So, has something, like, something ain't right. It'll pop up. Let's eat all these carrots. Um, what else? Perishable. Slice of cake. Do half a slice of cake. And let's do half half the broccoli here. Yeah. 
And he's still hungry. Okay, let's do half the cabbage. Variety. Just trying to give him some variety. Okay. Oh, uh, it's because of my carry. The weight, that's what doesn't feel right. So, this can actually make you hurt you. If you're overweight. So I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drop these boards because it will actually kill me slowly. Uh, so I'm gonna drop all these floor. There we go. Should feel better now in a minute. I think I'll probably eat the rest of this just to give myself an extra little bonus to help get past this discomfort that I'm experiencing. And if we have vitamins, let's go and take some vitamins. Just for good measure. I know they're not really used for this. Normally they're used to perk you up almost like coffee. But I'll just take these anyway. Let's put those back. And have a cigarette. How's my bandage doing? Still doing good, okay. That was the other thing. I wanted to wash out that dirty bandage. So I have one ready to go. Did I use up all my... Looks like I used up all my uh, disinfectant. So, okay. Let's, uh, let's just sit down here. So that we don't waste any extra energy. And let's start reading this book. It's going to take some time. You see the pages right there. I'm flying through those pages. So we're... Halfway done right there. I don't think you can learn two things at once, and it sort of flew th through there. I don't think I got... Maybe I got foraging. Yeah, that's what happened. I actually listened to the show while I was reading, and it gave me credit for that. Should be done about here. There we go. All right, buddy. Put that book back. I thought I tried that before, and it didn't work where I was like studying and listening to the, to the uh, educational show. And it was like, yeah, no, nice try there, Accurize, but uh, yeah, we're not gonna let you do that. So let me grab like two of those. You're three pounds each, yeah, that should be fine. It's not gonna kill us, that's for sure. That's 850 now, all right, not bad. Gotta get this place secured on the first level here, man. Then I need to get uh, some sheet ropes for the windows. Have to work on uh, crafting those. I can do it from uh, clothing from these folks, I think. I think I can. So what you do is you do one on each of these windows, and then you go back around and start adding a second one, and so on and so forth. Where was, oh, there it is. It's so weird. I want to go to car carpentry, but it's up here in barricade. Now let's see how fast this increases. Our skill. We're back to a uh, a turbo learning learning speed here. All right, let's see. Multiplier of five. That's pretty good. All right. I wonder if I can. Can you board up a door? You can, can't you? Um, there's two doors here. They'd have to make it through two doors, so I'm not too concerned about that. I'd rather spend my planks on these right here. we go. And I need another plank. Carpentry is shooting up pretty quick, though. Alright, so you guys see how that works. I won't keep keep that up in, there, in your face or anything like that. It's almost good to just go out and find those logs inside the, uh, inside the lumber yard. That was a pretty good find. So I think what I'll do is I'll save two of these and put them in my car. And that way I have them if I'm ready to roll out real fast. 
for a, for a house, and I need to secure it quickly. So, actually, hold on. I don't. Yeah, I don't need another one. That's one on each. Okay, that's good. It's a good start. It's a good start. You can get up to three planks on each window. At least that's the way it used to be. Lovely. Carpentry skill. Yep. Still goes strong. All right, well. Let's see here. What do I want to do? Let's see if we can uh, shred like this hoodie. Craft a sheet rope. There we go. All right, let's go over to another person's body here. Craft a sheet rope. I don't need like, I think I need, I probably need like three. Probably want three, I'm thinking. Take a look here at the house. So one there, one there, and probably one on the other side or something. So maybe we'll get three of these. I know I could have just, I should have just did there because it was giving me a chance to make more of them. Should have sheet ropes here. I remember when sheet ropes were first added. It's a big deal. <laughs> we we're all trying to figure out how to implement them. Oh, I only have two. Oh well, we'll figure it out. Let's get these up first. It's like the what's that line out of Ronan? You know, uh, never walk into a place I don't know how to get out of. Uh, carpentry. Okay, open window. Uh, sheet rope. Add escape rope. There we go. Now, if we're in trouble, uh, we climb through and we climb down the rope. If we need to go up, up we go. Now, what we could technically do is destroy these steps. And then the zombies at nighttime, even if they came in here, wouldn't be able to get up to us. We could always do that. But we need a. Uh, I think you need a sledgehammer to do that, right? Probably. Or an axe, I'm sure. I don't think you can do it with just a regular hammer. So we can destroy these steps and have an up, a way to get up to our little nest at night. That's the ultimate way to stay safe right there. Get a drink. Let's wash ourselves up here. Try to stay clean. And then we'll wash our clothes. Where's our... Why won't it let me select it now? Nah. Whatever. I'm going upstairs to do it then. Doesn't want to play nice. I don't think leaving the TV on matters. I'm just going to turn it off anyway. Just to play it safe. No, I don't have any extra books on me, do I? Do I want to read any of these? Expert mechanics. Engineering, what's this one? Noisemaker, trigger, make remote. I'm looking for the, there's one I think it's called how to use generators. I'm one of, I'd like to read that one. We've already read that, already read that. You know what, I could probably, no, that doesn't help. I guess it does. See, because it starts off with expert rather than, that one ends with intermediate, so it messes up the order of them. I was going to say, I want to see all my beginner books first, but I don't think there's a way to do that. So I already read that. Small metal sheet. Yeah, let's read that. Real quick here. There we go. Alright. Is it in here? Already read. Already read. Let's go ahead and get ourselves a little something to eat here. And I have a smoke. Get some sleep. And I have like four dirty rags, so I'll clean those up so we have some bandages ready to go. Alright, not sure why that other sink wasn't working, but uh, it's too early for it to shut shut down. So yeah. Uh, let's clean all these rags. Then let's wash ourselves, apparently. Do I have soap in here? I should have soap in here. 
I got a bottle of disinfectant. Just one more, huh? Let's add that to our kit there. I don't have any soap, really. I must, maybe it's down in the downstairs. Okay, no, I'm not worried about it. It's not a big deal. Let's wash ourselves again. I thought I had already done that. Okay. Let's wash our clothing on the soap. Water five of 20 of 100. Is the water off now? Yeah, let's do that. Did the water already go off? That's crazy. Some smaller items go faster, apparently. So, I have to wonder if... Well, the electricity is still on. Normally, the electricity and the water go off at kind of the same time. I thought. But the lights are still on. That's for sure. Alright, well, let's... Uh, yeah, let's get some sleep then. Put our chair in the right spot. There we go. All right. Well, not a bad episode. We got ourselves a sheet rope set up. We got our windows boarded up. We hit one of the storage uh, units. I got bit, which kind of sucked. But other than that, it looks like everything's going all right. So we're preparing to have to bug out when this helicopter comes. And I don't know if the uh, I don't know if the water shut off or not. It kind of looks like it has, but then the electricity's still on. So, all right. We're gonna get some sleep here. Like, comment, subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. The Adventures of Keystone, Episode 5. I'll see you guys in Episode number 6. Y'all take care.